page 16, Patapan. Let's look this over. I'm going to go through my process for learning a piece of music. I see it's one page long, treble and bass clef. There's no sharps or flats in the key signatures, so either it's in C major or A minor. If I look at the bottom, the last couple measures were here. That, that's A minor. I'll figure it's in A minor, so I'll make sure I can do the scales for C major and A minor both. Yeah. Then we have cut time. So a 2-2. Two, two. So a half note gets a count. Quarter notes, one and two and. Eighth notes, one e and a two e and a. And that's fun already. Well, when I start learning a piece of music that's in cut time, I will temporarily pretend it's in 4-4 four, four time. That makes learning and counting it a little easier for me. And then once I have the notes and rhythms down pretty well, then I'll put it back in cut time. So in this lesson, I'm going to talk about this as though it's in 4-4 four, four time and a quarter note gets a count. In the first measure, we have two quarter notes, so we have a pickup beat. I'm going to do the right hand first, make sure I understand what's going on here. The right hand starts here, and it's 3-4. Three, 3-4, four. Three, four, one. one and two and, one and two. Two, and then you come across the much here. Now, if this doesn't work for you, if you can't come in here, your fingers are too fat, it doesn't work, then we have to adjust the finger. So on measure three, remember the numbers at the beginning of the line and the little boxes are measure numbers. So if you know where measure four is, you can figure out where measure three is. So it's here. I'm going to do a one four. I'm just going to come down. I'm holding that down, I'm going to connect it. And now I can do a 2-3 in measure 4. Here. That way I stay out here, I'm not up here. It's up to you on the fingering you're using. Pick one that works for you. And then going on, 2-1. 3 and 4 and. Now they want third finger measure eight. You're playing half note and then three. This sets you up for what's coming. And that's all right. Two. And for the last two measures, I'm going to cross over to two, three, one. I'm just kind of staying here. I'm just coming across for that. I find that easier than doing this. Now, I didn't mention it before, but when I first start learning a piece of music, I try to connect everything as best I can with the fingers. This forces me to find a fingering that works connected, because that usually leads to a better fingering overall. Not always, but most of the time it works. It's what I had to do in college, so that's what I do, it's what I teach. Left hand, we're starting down here. So it's just one, two, and this fun. Okay, so much for the left hand, let's put them together. You're here. That's about it. Once you've got that right hand figured out, the left hand isn't doing a lot. It changes a little bit in the last line, uh, measure 10. But not much. I mean, you, I'm sure you can figure that out. Though. Once I have the notes and the rhythms figured out, the fingering and all that, then I go in and I add the articulation. And that's the, here are the staccatos. I'm like flexing at the wrist and short staccato. Those are staccatos. Now measure four, you're connecting, but staccato. So once I have the articulation under control, more or less, then I add the dynamics. I like to do this just one thing at a time so I can focus on it. Now they give three different dynamics. Isn't this fun? FPF. Well, there's three verses, and what they want is each verse goes to a dynamic, or each dynamic goes to a verse, depending on which way you're going, I guess. So you play it loud, and you play it soft, then you play it loud. And you think, wait a minute, there's no repeat sign or anything. Really? They could have put a repeat sign at the end, at the bottom there. They could have put a repeat sign there. 
But a lot of times in music, when they have words and multiple verses, they don't put in the repeat sign. It's understood that you'd repeat it if you want to do the other verses. But you could just play it through one time and be done. If you're not singing it, one time is fine. Unless you want it to last longer, then you can repeat it too. In this lesson, I'm not going to repeat it. I'm just going to do one verse. So we're just going to play it loud. And that's the melody. You'll have to decide what loud is. It, it depends on the situation and where you're at and so forth. This left hand needs to be in the background. And then I add the speed. Well, that's where we have to put it back in cut time. We want to feel it in two. It says with spirit in two. Well, the cut time takes care of the in two. They don't need to say in two. It's in cut time. One, two, one, and with spirit, this is the, it's a rather fast piece. One, two, one, feel the natural accent, one, two. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty fast piece. Then on top of all that, they've added pedal. You don't need pedal on this piece. You can do it without pedal just fine. But they've added it. Let's see what it is. I don't agree with their pedaling, so and it may be an error too. So let's talk about the pedaling. Now, because this piece moves so fast, I don't really have time to do lag pedaling. That's where I push the nose down first and then the pedal. I gotta kind of do the pedal and the nose together because it just moves so quick. So it's like in measure three when they're suggesting you pedal it, push it down and leave it down, change it here for measure four. And then lift up before you go on, it's a new phrase in measure four. So there's a little silence there. It's like taking a breath. However, I believe measure three may be an error. I want to hear the staccatos. Now they may be doing it because of the, the, one, the overtones for the half note. But it's more important to me to have the staccato. So you have to decide which is more important to you. Do you want the overtones for the half notes? Or do you want the staccatos? You have to pick. A lot of times in piano when doing pedal, we have to choose. Do we want this or this? Because we can't have both. I'm going to lift up. I want to hear the staccatos throughout. Now on measure six on that one, they're not pedaling that half note. Why not? Why not pedal that? If you're going to pedal these other half notes, why not pedal that note? my mind that would make it more consistent. So I'm going to suggest go ahead and pedal the half note in measure six and the half note in measure eight. Pedal them both. Just down with the hands and up because we want to hear the phrasing. We want to hear a little silence in measure five or six. It's here. Lift up before we go on. Oh, there's measure seven too. I missed that in half note. Now another way you can do this, if you want to simplify the pedaling a little bit in this piece, is to simply pedal the first beat of every measure. When this goes down, pedal with the half notes in the left hand. Just color them all. Just pedal with that if that will help you. Even at the end, the last two measures, I don't pedal the staccato. I want to hear the staccatos, but I will pedal the last measure. That's another way of doing it. Now, I think that's a lot simpler way of doing the pedaling than trying to, oh, where are you pedaling? Because this piece moves, so if you just pedal the first beat of every measure, it should do it. Keep in mind that a half note gets beat. Again, how fast you take it, well, it's got to be accurate, but this, this does move. Hairpin, see that? They want you to come down last time. Get softer the last time. If you're going to repeat, you stay up. Because you 
just keep going again. However, if you're going to repeat, keep in mind the second time you play this soft. It makes the left hand very soft. And then if you repeat it again, you go back up to loud. I'll leave that up to you.